Good afternoon, everyone. We are now in Chapter 4, Measurement. We will discuss first Lesson 1, Time Measure. In this lesson, you should be able to convert one time measure into another. Second, compute for the exact amount of time between two given times. And lastly, solve word problems involving time measurement. Okay. In converting from one unit to another, the rule is the bigger to smaller unit, ju we just simply multiply. Okay? From smaller to bigger unit, ato siyang i divide. Okay? We will consider this table in converting a time. Okay? Alright. We have here example number one. The question is, how many minutes are there in one and one half day? Okay? So let's solve. Here's the solution. Okay? Since one hour is equal to 60 minutes, 24 hours is equal to one day. Okay? The given number is in mixed number, we will first convert it into decimal para mas sayon si. 1 and 1 half is just equal to 1.5 day. Okay? Times. Okay? So, in converting, kung unsa ang unit ang naadiri sa ibabaw, maupo dapat diri sa ubos. So, this is 1 day. Okay? 1 day is equal to how many hours? 24. Okay? Times, hours, dapat hours na po diri. So, 1 hour okay, is equal to 60 minutes. Okay. No, so, nakuha na nato ang unit ng atong gusto. Kuhaon. Alright? Okay? So, cancel out this one. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So, the remaining would be minutes only. Okay? By simply multiplying 1.5 times 24 and 60, so the answer is 2,160 minutes. So, example number 2. Roger started doing his project at 5.40 p.m. and finished it at 7.45 p.m. How long did he do his project? So here's the solution. To find the time spent for the project, we need to use this formula. Okay? Amount Amount of time spent is equal to Time finish minus time started. Okay? From the given, time nga na finish siya is 7.45 p.m. So, 7.45. Okay? Dari ang hour, this will be 4 minutes. Okay? Minus 5.40. Okay? So, by simply subtracting the numbers, so we have 5.02. So, therefore, Roger spent 2 and 5 minutes in doing his project Ready? let me clarify that's two hours two hours 
and five minutes no so that's the final answer all right what if the minuend is less than the value of the subtrahend so here's another example for that here's our example number three shara went driving she left at 10 30 a.m and arrived at 3 15 p.m how long did she drive so if we are going to use the formula time arrive or time finish minus time started so we have this 315 minus 1030 okay as you can see in the menu wind so here's our menu wind is smaller siya kaysa sa subtrahend ng value okay in this case, rename 3 hours as 2 hours and 60 minutes and regroup the 60 minutes with 15 minutes to make it 75 minutes. Okay? So, 2 hours. Again, as I've said, gikuhaan na to 1 hour. So, ato i regroup into 60 minutes with 15. So, that becomes... 75 minutes so here's now minus 10 30 okay so we'll subtract first minutes so 5 4 okay since the number of hours in the menu end is smaller than in the subtrahend as you can see mas dako ang subtrahend which is 10 kaysa sa menu end nga 2 Okay, so we can always add 12 hours due to the fact that the time is modulo 12. Okay, so mag-add daw ta of 12 sa 2 hours. So it means that the number of hours in the minuend, which is 2, will become 14. So 14, 75 minus 1030 okay so we can now subtract okay so 5 minus 0 5 7 minus 3 4 4 minus 0 14 minus 10 that's 4 okay it means that shara drove for 4 hours and 45 minutes i hope this example is clear okay thank you for listening i hope you learned something today if you have questions or clarifications just comment down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe